We have seen the past two questions, how we can handle. But there are some instances whereby the project is promising the same, same, same amount. That one in financial management terms we call an annuity. So investors fail. They have hard time to decide which project to undertake. Would I take this project because it is promising the same, same amount up to the end of the period which is given. So we want to look into such scenario whereby we are having a project which is promising the same, same amount. So let's look at it together and we see how we can handle such question. Consider a four-year project whose initial investment is 1.5 million shillings. The project is expected to generate annual cash inflow of ceiling 600,000 per annum. So we are expected to compute the payback period. We will write the period which we have been told in one to four years. Then after that is the cash flows. The cash flows, we have been told that it is an annuity. An annuity means the same amount for the whole of the period we have been given. So we have been told 600,000, 600,000, 600,000, 600,000. Now, we create a column of accumulated cash flow for us to know after how long will we recoup back the amount we invested. Accumulated cash flow. So, so. so the first period we just take the value the way it is, which is 600,000. So when we come to the second period, we will take the accumulated cash flow for the first period, we add with the original value for the second period, which is 600,000 plus 600,000, that is 1,200,000. ,000. Now if you are going to period three, if you add the 600,000 plus the 1,200,000, ,000, it will be more than the amount we invested, which was 1,500,000. ,000. So we have to stop from the second period. So we'll come here and say that the payback period will be the first two years, which we, we, have, we have recouped the 1,200. So two years plus the amount we invested was 1,500,000 ,000 minus the amount already we have recouped, which is 1,200,000. ,000. 1200 over the actual cash flow of the proceeding period. The proceeding period means the period after the second period, which is 600,000. So we'll come here and write the 600,000. So this one will be two years, then 1500 minus 1200, you will remain with 300,000. So 300,000 over 600,000, that is like a half. So the final answer will be two and a half years. But if you don't want it to do it like that, like in most situations, we will apply the formula. Once you have seen that the cash flow is an annuity for the whole periods you have been given, it is advisable for a student to use the method, the, the, the formula for getting a payback period. So the formula for getting the payback period, PBP is equal to initial outlay, initial outlay, in bracket we can call it the present value cash outflow. Present value cash outflow. That is to say the amount you invested over the annuity. Annuity. The annuity is this amount which is repeating itself for the rest of the period. So this one will be, the initial outlay is the amount we invested for this company, which was 1500,000. 1500,000, we divide by annuity. The annuity is 600,000, over 600,000 you will get two and a half years. So it is good if you fail to do it with using the formula, using the accumulated cash flow, 
you use the formula form. But this one is applicable only where the cash flow promises an unity up to the end. That's when you are allowed to use the formula. But if it is not an annuity, that is called an annuity, we use the formula of accumulated cash flow. That is how you're supposed to go through a question of that nature.